Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed this space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if this reading resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. Also, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm now accepting personal readings. So if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. Yeah, click on the link in the description box down below. Anyway. Five of Pentacles, a Ten of Pentacles, all right. And then the Nine, wow. Page of Wands. The Knight of Cups, all right. I'm loving this already. I'm liking this reading. I'm liking this reading. And then the Queen of Wands. All right. Underneath the deck is the King of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and then the Hierophant. All right. Okay. The person that you're dealing with. All right. This is someone very traditional. And I'm really getting that for some of you, all right for some of you you are not compatible religiously all right maybe the other one is has a different religion or the other one is agnostic i'm not really sure we're not here to talk about religions anyway all right uh it has been an issue it has been an issue between the two of you the religion so this this connection had to you know for some reason had to how can i say this you had to disconnect from this person or this person had to disconnect from you because you're for for i'm really not getting too much that this is this person but more on the family that they're with very traditional all right so the tradition is influenced on to them but it has been uh, a struggle between the two of you regarding religion um maybe right now you're working on your finances they're working very much on their finances rebuilding their life all right the seven of pentacles they've been reflecting a lot very much reflecting a lot on how to come forward towards you they've made a decision they've made a decision capricorn all right or just not not just about religion but the culturally speaking you could have different cultures between the you and this person all right you have the six of they have the six of wands and then the star card remember this is your person's energies all right they've rebuilt their life all right uh, they've healed a lot they're removing a lot of cycles that no longer serve them removing a lot of themselves that no longer serve them they their old their old selves all right they're wishing you back into their life they're wishing you back into their life that's what i'm trying to say uh the star card they're they're really waiting for a miracle to happen and they believe that this is going to come they've been manifesting you for the last for i'm getting six months all right the last six months this person has been trying to manifest you back into your into their life they've done a lot of uh, improvement they're coming in better as a better version of them all right they have the five of pentacles to the page of wands they've let go of their old ways they've walked away from their old selves which is the page of wands they were very flirty they were non-committal all right very passionate about you but non-committal did not have any plans all right right now they're walking away from that version of themselves right now they have a plan to come towards you
You have the Ten of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. All right, this person will offer you that stable and secure future that you've always wanted. All right, this person will commit to you. This person loves you a lot. I have to say, they love you so much. They're offered. They're willing to give you everything that they have. The Ten of Pentacles. They're willing to offer you stability, offer you love. All right, and then. You have the Nine of Cups to the Queen of Wands. You are something that they've been wishing for. They see you from a distance. They see how attractive you are. You're driven. They're always reminded of how ambitious and driven and attractive you are. They just can't stay away from you, right? They just can't stay away from you. So they're wishing you back into their life. outcome the seven of swords the chariot card and then the queen of pentacles all right advice for you all right don't fret all right just because there's a seven of swords there doesn't mean you'd panic the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot card, and then the Seven of Swords. This person is moving away again, moving away from being non-committal, all right? They won't run away this time, all right? They won't run away this time. Um, the Chariot card, they will face the challenge head on with you. They want to, you know, grow together with you. They want to succeed with you. And the Queen of Pentacles, they will commit to you, all right? You are the only one for them. You are their Queen Capricorn very beautiful all right the ace of wands the sun and then the moon advice for you while you wait maybe take on something passionate a passion project start something that you're very passionate about put your energy there all right set that intention of your person going back into your life let it go and you know put your attention some something else on something else like something you're passionate about the moon card face your fears all right facing your fears and then the sun card embrace the abundance that's coming towards you all right this will happen in the next five months i have to say five months is very fast all right five months is quick You have toil and labor, all right? And then despair. This person is so sad without you. I'm really getting that uh, they're really focusing on themselves right now, their jobs. All right, I look, I look for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere. My life is not as together as it seems. All right. So yeah, that is all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.